Hello again, and I'm back for my April manga haul. Again, a lot more volumes than I thought I was going to. I got these at a great deal. Most of them are used that I got at a bookstore near where I drive by every day that I didn't know sold manga, but now I do. I think I cleared out most of their volumes, but let's get started. I'm going to start first with some of the new volumes that I bought here. So the first I have Yokai Rental Shop Volume 2. Still good. Um, probably going to still finish it out. The art's still nice. There's only about four volumes for this, so I'll probably pick up the rest of those. Frau Faust, Volume 4. Only one left. Probably have to do a reread when the fifth volume comes out. Still great. Oversized volume, as you see here. Uh, Black Butler, Volume 2, which I got from a friend. Uh, Hagenai, Volumes 1 through 3, also got from a friend here. Um, don't think I'll enjoy this one too much, but it might be a nice little lighthearted read. Maiden Abyss Volume 1, also in sort of an oversized volume here as well. Um, love this series so far. The art style is really um, special, and it just seems like it's going to be a really good series. I need to watch the anime still, but we'll probably also pick up Volume 2 soon. The Girl from the Other Side, Volume 4. Again, if you still kind of like this series, it's still continuing on. No different, um, no drop in quality so far. Uh, the Ancient Magus Bride, Volume 8, and it'll be a while since we get the next volume since we're pretty much caught up in Japan, but still loving this series. Definitely one of my favorite releases as of yet. So those are all the newer volumes I got. And now comes the sort of more used volumes that I got for a good deal. Most of these are old library copies, as you can kind of see by these stickers here, but all in all, not too bad of quality, considering the price I got. So I got Osaman, volume f 4 through 10, and then 18. So, a number of these. I'm skipping a few on here, so I also already have volume 1 as well, so I'll have to pick up the kind of some of the volumes in between. I started reading some of this and it's super sweet and just kind of innocent. I'll be curious to see where they go for this many volumes, but it's pretty good so far. And the covers are pretty nice for a shoujo series, so when I can find those I might pick up the rest. Um, then next we have D. Grayman, 4 through 9 and then 11 and 12. I guess they were missing volume 10 there, but... I also have an omnibus of the first three volumes, so these just kind of pick up from there for the singles. Um, it's pretty good shonen. Definitely one of the first I kind of uh, read and never finished watching, but I do need to actually read the whole series. I've only read some of the beginning parts here, but from what I remember, it was pretty good. I think it's still ongoing, so don't pick it up if you don't want to read an incomplete series. So far it's kind of been an indefinite hiatus from what I understand. They're just really, really slow releases. I don't know how many volumes are out right now, but I definitely have a few of them. Pretty nice covers, as you can see here. So that's pretty nice. Um, then I have We Were There, volumes 2 through 10, 12, 15, and 16. Um, so this is more of a shoujo drama. Uh, from what I've read of reviews, people said it's really good. The anime goes up to a portion of the series, but then it keeps going through past, I think, I don't know if it's through college. Um, but as you see, these volumes covers are quite nice. Uh, they seem a little bit better condition than the Ultimate volumes I got. But I am looking forward to reading this. I haven't read it yet, so... Should be good. Again, I'm missing some volumes in between there, but given I almost have the whole series, it was still definitely worth it picking it up. Volume 16 is the last volume there, so I have the ending, at least. So that's those. And then I have Rose Hip Rose. 
which is the prequel, and then Rose Hip Zero. So, Rose Hip Rose, I think it's more of a Jose series. Mm -hmm. Mature, okay. But um, definitely more of an action sort of series. Just kind of, a, just, just kind of light fun. Uh, I don't think it got amazing reviews. Again, published by Tokyo Pop 2, so you might have a hard time finding the series if you're interested. But just kind of, you know, girls and guns sort of series, as you can kind of see by these covers. Um, not expecting too much from this series, but I do have the whole thing here now, so I'll read it and get back to you for that. So here they are again. Definitely kind of like this sort of black and white kind of splatter style on the side. It looks pretty nice here. Um, so that's those. And then I have High School Debut Volumes 2 through 10. Sorry, they're upside down, but I got to move them around. Um, I heard this one was also very cute. Um, romance here. Again, I don't think it's going to be anything too revolutionary but just a nice sweet series again definitely looking forward to reading some of this one I think I have uh, most of the series here but we shall see so pretty cute uh, next I have Vampire Hunter D the manga I know there are numerous books out but I guess they did put this in manga form the first volume. It's kind of cool if to see that the pages are red, bright red on here. So that's kind of different as well. And it's definitely a larger size. If you see this to a regular volume. So definitely bigger. Um, but yeah, definitely looks like you have some detailed art style. Haven't really read or any of the actual books or anything. I watched one of the movies. I know there's a few movies out there and it was quite nice. So... Hopefully it'll fall in the same kind of vein as that. And finally, I have Alice in the Country of Hearts. Uh, this is the Omnibus one. I don't really know sort of all the names of the different ones, but again, I got this for free. So, can't really complain there. Just kind of a... I don't know if it's... Reverse, I think it might be a reverse here, but sort of some of the darker tones again, sort of that Alice in Wonderland style, typical, typical shoujo art, but I heard it was actually pretty popular of a series. Um, again, sort of still more expensive because it's a yen press release, but even f it, this is an omnibus, so it's a little bit more expensive regardless. But I'll be curious to see how this series actually holds up. I really do like this sort of cover design it's kind of nice that it's sideways so you kind of get like a whole almost like a art card in it but yeah so those are all the volumes I got this month <laughs> kind of a lot again my bookshelves are already full <laughs> so I don't know what I'll do about that but again I got high school debut two through ten uh Alice Kingdom of Hearts and the Country of Hearts Vampire Hunter D volume one we were there, 2 through 10, 12, 15, and 16. Uh, Rose Hip Zero and Rose Hip Rose. Um, D. Grayman, volumes 4 through 9, 11 and 12. Otoman, volumes 4 through 10, and then 18. And then I got a bunch of these sort of single newer volumes. Um, Ancient Mage's Bride, The Girl from the Other Side, Made in the Abyss. Hug and I, I Don't Have Many Friends, Volumes 1 through 3, uh, Black Butler, Volume 2, Yokai Rental Shop, Volume 2, and Frau Faust, Volume 9. And that'll wrap up this month's manga haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll try to do an updated sort of um, bookshelf picture with all these in here, as I'm sure this might take up probably at least a shelf or two by itself. But yeah. See you guys next time.